Hey, it's Sunday, and I've got my hood on only because I was just doing some testing with the audio, and it really blocks out the wind, which is nice. I know I'm a dork, but I really want to record this quickly. So it is Sunday at noon, and I'm here at the beach with my... See, there you can hear the wind. I just turn, and I get more wind. I'm here at the beach with my uh, beach walking meditation group. We all, there's like 30 or 40 of us today, we do a big meditation. So uh, here, I, I'm actually not even talking about meditation today, I'm talking about fasting. Well, and how it's related to meditation and how it improves it. And in fact, how it basically improves everything. I must have had one of the clearest, more sort of joyful, energetic, positive, uplifting, need I go on with the adjectives meditation this morning. And I, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, there's a lot of stuff going on right now in my life, a lot of change, but in on, well, on here, here we go. On Monday, I kind of broke my finger or, you know, pulled a, tore a tendon. It even sounds more disgusting. But then on Thursday, my, my so Tuesday, my son was Liam was sick with a uh, stomach flu. Wednesday, Saskia was kind of feeling it. I'm thinking maybe I'm out of the woods. But on Thursday, it hit me and hit me hard. So I am just losing it, literally. And it was brutal. Just stomach flu galore. Just barfing like a banshee. I'm not sure that's a thing. So you're like, Bradley, you look like a dork. You've got the hood on. You're at the beach. You had a great meditation. You broke your finger and you barfed. Great. What's your point today? I see I'm at two minutes. I'm getting there, I swear. <laughs> I need like a disclaimer at the beginning saying there's actually valuable content in this video today. And here it is. I took the stomach flu as a trigger a trigger to not eat. Now, remember, first 24 hours, it really wasn't hard to not eat because I didn't want to eat anything. I couldn't even imagine eating anything. It sounded like a terrible idea because I'd barf it back up. So that was easy. But trigger, remember, trigger. What's going to trigger me or you to help you start something, do something, get motivated, get action, get take those first steps? So the first steps was the stomach flu, right? Weird, right? And you think like, well, that sounds like a terrible thing. A stomach flu is awful. And it is. It was brutal. It was like violent. I was like a hyena. It wasn't pretty. But I used that trigger to jump into a fast, right? And why? Because I had a, I had a head start. I got that kickstart. The kickstart of the stomach flu kickstarted my fast. So that was Thursday. So I haven't eaten since Thursday. Today is Sunday. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's three full days, 72 hours. I haven't eaten anything. I've been drinking for sure. I've had, and I'm not doing a, a you know, 100% full on, no nothing. I'm not doing just water. I've had juice. I even had a little bit of soup last night. But I, actually I had a few bites. It was really yummy. But I, my stomach is probably so adjusting to the idea of fasting that I don't need much. I had a few bites. I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm pretty full. And I, and I, I physically stood up, took my bowl over to the sink and put it away so I wouldn't just keep eating just for eating's sake. Ready for the message? Ready for the point? I am going to state that I think this meditation today was so joyful, so powerful, so uplifting, so fun, so delightful and mystical and wild. And I just miss this because this used to be more the norm. And yet I have been plundered by Italian food all summer <laughs> and, Mex and, and Mexican, I wish, Spanish food. And I have been a porker. And so, yeah, it's been fun. I'm drinking, I'm eating, I'm traveling. It's all good. But how can I explain? How could I feel right now? 
and that the the height of the good I feel now, right now, at noon, on whatever it is, end of August 2022, after not eating for three days, how can I explain? And and you might think if you're not familiar with fasting, you might think, Bradley, how are you out and about? How are you walking? Yet I am more alive, I am more awake, I am more aware. Oh, I just made that up. Triple alliteration. Alive, awake, aware. Thanks to my 72-hour fasting. And by, guess guess what I'm doing? I'm gonna keep going. Right now, the 30 or 40 of us are gonna go meet for lunch at the cafe. I ain't no eating. Why? Because this feeling is so much higher, higher level frequency, greater energy than the joy I will get from the food. And back to frequency. Do I mean that I need to do this every week? No. Maybe every month. I'd like to figure out that frequency, actually. In fact, I want to talk to my buddy, Rich Robinson, to interview him about the frequency of fasting. How often should you do the shorter one, the longer one, the biggie, right? I don't really know. So I'd like to talk with people about the frequency. By the way, speaking of frequency, if you happen to be watching this, and it is August right now, 2022, my book coming out November 17th, Frequency. The goal is the frequency. The goal is the interval. So to do this on a regular basis, That's the goal. It's like the jogging every day or the sending out a video every week or the newsletter every month. Those are my things, sort of content creation type stuff. But other things, how often do you do what and why? And then the why part, I think about this. How happy, how joyful, how energetic, probably will you stop, right now with this meditation that I just did on the beach, the walking meditation. How fun was that? How much better was that compared to the ones I've been doing after being a porker? Right? And being a porker is fun. I love food. I love eating. I love drinking. I love merrymaking. I do. It is so fun. And there is a time and a place for that. But I, I, I know this sounds unbelievable. But having not eaten for three days is more fun, more exciting than a week in Italy. I know, I know. You're like, dude, you're wrong. Dude, whack job. What are you talking about? There's no way that not eating for three days is better than a week in Italy. And I maybe I shouldn't say better. Maybe I just say different. It's a different high, a different love, energy, passion, pleasure, passion, pleasure, play, wow, alliteration going wild today, and I just feel this energy right now that I haven't felt in many months, probably because I haven't fasted for many months, so, all right, I see I'm in eight minutes here, I'm going to wrap this up, I meant to just have a quick little hello, because this is not Thursday and this is not thunder, although this is thunderous. This is thunderous. Maybe this is the lightning. Maybe today is the lightning and this week the thunder will roll in and rumble my insides and rumble something out. Hopefully not in the physical, visual way I just saw considering the barfing last week. (laughs) But hey, I've got nothing left to barf up. I am empty. I am feeling light. I am feeling high energy. What's up with that? No food equals high energy. Don't quote me on that. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical doctor. (laughs) There you have it. Wow. Wow. I'm so glad I'm recording. I'm so glad you're watching this. I hope I have uplifted you, inspired you to look into intermittent fasting. I am no expert, I am a student of the practice, and yet I am an enthusiastic student. I love it, God, this is good. I feel awesome. (laughs) All right, there we go, from the beach in Nordwijk, in the Netherlands. (laughs) I'm Bradley Schravino, coming to you every single week with some sort of powerful thunder ripping in to hopefully into your heart. Take care. Bye.